All right, today we are going to figure out how do we get the URL or the website address for the pictures that we find in Google Images. And also, how do we make sure that the stuff that we find in Google Images we're allowed to use on our projects. So the first thing we're gonna do is we go to google.com and you'll see there's extra stuff here because we have safe search turned on, but it's just google.com. We're gonna go up to images and today we're gonna search for the red panda eating bamboo. I can arrow down and hit enter on my keyboard and it takes me right there. Now, some of these pictures are going to actually be small and pixelated, so the first thing I want to do is go to tools and go to size and I'm searching for large pictures. This keeps me from having a problem with them being tiny and blowing them up and seeing all the big squares and not looking good. Next thing we want to do is over here at usage, uh, usage rights. We're going to click on that and say creative commons license. That means we're allowed to use them. Now, if I just go and take this picture right now, it's a thumbnail. And the thumbnails are tiny versions of the real picture. So if you see, if I right click here and I copy the image address, this is actually, I'll paste it over here and go. And you'll see it's just a tiny little picture and it's not really the correct website address. So we don't want to do that. What we have to do is click on the picture. Now this one that shows up over the right is actually a smaller version of the full size one, but the link is the real link to the image. So if we right click on here and go to image address, if I paste it in here, this is the full size picture. This is the correct address. You can see it, we, it was from Wikimedia. And this is the correct address that we would want to put on our work cited. So again, a reminder, we first did our search under tools. We looked for large images. We made sure that they were part of Creative Commons, which means we're allowed to use them in our school projects. We had to click on it first, and then we were able to right click and copy this image. The, uh, sorry, not the image, but the image address. We could have also copied the image if we want. Copy the image address. And then, that is what we're pasting. And the other thing I'll show you real quick is how we could do a, um, how we could put this into our project. So there's a quick way. Now that we have the URL, we can actually use that URL. This website address is called a URL. It stands for Universal Resource Locator. But we can take this address to put the picture in one of our Google Docs. And I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, here I am on my red panda coolness document. And let's say I had copied and wait, paste, I mean, uh, sorry, I copied this URL. So I right clicked and went to copy or I hit control C or command C, depending on what I'm on. And now I'm over here. If I go to insert an image, I can say by URL. If I click on by URL, I can paste that address right here and insert it, and it's going to insert that picture right there for me. The next thing I could do at the bottom, let's say I put in a page break, and this is my works cited page. I can now say, let's make this a numbered list, red panda eating bamboo oh. and I can paste that website address right there maybe I'll make this a title also so now we have the picture so getting that URL made us be able to put the picture in and we could paste it right there for our works cited and that's the right way to do it